Universal Center for Renovation presents historical and biblical Israelites. This video is strictly for educational purposes and commentary. This video is of biblical and secular historical literature, so enjoy. Queen Elizabeth I of England and the royals and aristocracy of Europe were Israelites. Queen Elizabeth I of England, dark am I, yet lovely. Daughters of Jerusalem, dark like the tents of Kedar, like the tent curtains of Solomon. Song of Solomon, one and five. Queen Elizabeth I of England was a dark complexioned woman. She was a person of color. Her ancestry led back to the Near East, to the children of Israel, the biblical children of Israel. In the book, The Life of Elizabeth, on page 16, my Allison Weir gives a accurate physical description of Queen Elizabeth. She was tall and very slender with a tiny waist, small bosom and beautiful long fingered hands, which it pleased her vanity to display to advantage in a variety of affected poses. She had a swathy olive complexion like that of her mother, although she made a habit of whitening it with a lotion made up of egg whites, powdered egg shell, poppy seeds, borax, and alum, which made her face appear white and luminous. Queen Elizabeth I of England, she had a swarthy olive complexion, like that of her mother, although she made a habit of whitening it with a lotion made up of egg whites, powdered egg shell, poppy seeds, borax, and alum, which made her face appear white and luminous. Queen Elizabeth I had many enemies, including the Roman Catholic Church, because she was a Protestant. The Roman Catholics would stop at nothing to replace this Protestant queen with a Catholic ruler. If it could be proven that Elizabeth had Jewish or Moorish blood in her veins. That scandal could be used to topple her government. And it was true. She was a descendant of Jews, of biblical Israelites, a person of color. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? Though thou clothest thyself with crimson, though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, though thou rentest thy face with painting, in vain shall thou make thyself fear. Thy lovers will despise thee. They will seek thy life. Jeremiah 
chapter 4, verse 3. And she was despised. And many attempts was made, another one, of Queen Elizabeth. So she sought protection from the Rosicrucians. And a spy network was established to protect her on her throne. John D., who was a member of this Rosicrucian spy network, whose code name was 007, this is where James Bond received his code name. This Rosicrucian network was the beginning of the modern day British secret services. If you look up John D, you will find that he was a very important advisor to the Queen. But more than in another video. In return for their protection, the Rosicrucians were given state protection away from the inquisitions of the Roman Catholic Church who considered their practices heretical. And in England, the Rosicrucians prospered and a branch of the Rosicrucians became the Royal Society of London, which is the origin or home of the modern scientific theories and philosophies. Queen Elizabeth I used Venetian Sarus. Venetian Sarus or Venetian White, also known as Bloc de Sarus de Venice and Spirits of Saturn, was a 16th century cosmetic used as a skin whitener. It was in great demand and considered the best available at the time, supposedly containing the best quality white lead sourced from Venice, the global merchant capital at the time, Venice and Italy. The cosmetics use of white lead as a pigment was detrimental to the human body and caused lead poisoning, skin damage, hair loss, and in some cases, eventually death. And so Queen Elizabeth I sat on her throne, protected and secure because of her vast spy network. The chief spy master of this spy network was a man by the name of Sir Francis Walsingham. He was born around 1532 and died April 6, 1590. And because of his swarthy complexion, Elizabeth nicknamed Walsingham her more. And this is from the book Life of Elizabeth by Alison Weir. Sir Francis Walsingham was principal secretary or secretary of state to Queen Elizabeth I of England from December 20th, 1573 until his death and is popularly remembered as her spy master. He was nicknamed the Moor. In 1568, he became Secretary of State and began overseeing intelligence gathering operations designed to foil plots to overthrow the Queen. He soon amassed a large network of spies. A painting of Moors playing chess from the Libro de los Legos or Book of Games, commissioned by Alfonso 
the tent of Castile, Galicia, and Leon, and completed in Toledo, Spain, 1283 AD. One must ask the question, who were the Moors? There was an insightful piece written by Aaron Blackmore of National Geographic with such a title. For starters, we can look at the word more. More itself was used synchronously with Negro in the European Renaissance. There were many spellings for more which included Moro, Moyer, Moore, Mora, Mori, Morris, Morisco, Morens, Moreno, Murakad, essentially meaning black or with a suave appearance. And a suave means dark or black which perfectly describes the ancient Hebrews, from a light brown to a dark brown, and everything in between, even people of fair complexion with blue, gray eyes, blonde hair. On the Zondervan Pictorial Bible Dictionary, under the article Ruddy, Ruddy or red, a word used to refer to a red or fair complexion. In contrast to the dark skin of the Hebrews. So on average, historically, the Hebrews, like King Elizabeth and her spy master, were known to have dark skins the dark skin of the Hebrews, anywhere from light brown to dark brown. And the Hebrew Israelites, the biblical Israelites, traveled far and wide. So they were known also to come in every flavor. They intermarried with the people in the Levant, and they intermarried with people in Europe, the Far East, Africa. They are known to be a very diverse group of people. Jews, also known as Israelites, were present in England in substantial numbers from the Roman conquest forward. Jews held the highest offices in the land of England, including service as archbishop, dukes, earls, kings, and Queens. Among those proposed to be of Jewish or Israelite ancestry are the Tudor kings and queens, such as Queen Elizabeth I. This quote is from the book The Early Jews and Muslims of England and Wales by Elizabeth Caldwell Hirschman and Donald and Yates. Diptych Depicting the arrival of Queen Elizabeth I, 1530 to 1603, at Tilbury, England, the defeat of the Spanish Armada. The speech to the troops at Tilbury was delivered on August 9th, Old Style, August 19th, New Style in 1588 by Queen Elizabeth I of England to the land forces earlier assembled at Tilbury in Essex in preparation for repelling the expected invasion by the Spanish Armada. The Royal Court of Queen Elizabeth I 1533 to 1603, courtiers, diplomats, servants, and artisans at the Royal Court of England during the reign of Elizabeth I. The men and women 
who were of Hebrew ancestry. Although Phoenician sarus were certainly predominantly used by women, it was also thought to have been used by some men in royalty during the 16th century. A light skin complexion was sought after by men as it became a symbol of aristocracy. Elizabeth the first Elizabeth the first born September 7th 1533 and she died March 24th 1603 she was Queen of England Ireland from November 17th 1558 until her death in 1603 she was the last monarch of the House of Tudor Elizabeth was the only surviving child of Henry VIII. Elizabeth's younger half-brother, Edward VI, ruled into his own death in 1553. Elizabeth was imprisoned for nearly a year on suspicion of supporting Protestant rebels. Upon her half-sister's death in 1558, Elizabeth Succeeded to the throne and set out to rule by good counsel. One of her advisors were William Cecil. She's sometimes referred to as the Virgin Queen. She was eventually succeeded by her first cousin, twice removed, James the Sixth of Scotland, the son of Mary, Queen of Scots. King James the Sixth of Scotland is also known as King James the First of England. And King James is most famously known for commissioning one of the most popular Bible in the Western world, the 1611 King James Bible. And King James of the Stuart dynasty was also of Hebrew Israelite ancestry who sat upon the throne of England. 